All right, so we've got an exciting one. I wanted to share this. The ERISA Advisory Council, which uh, advises the Department of Labor, has been looking into long-term disability policies and specifically mental health uh, limitations. Most of these policies have a 24-month limitation for any disability that's caused or contributed to by any sort of mental health impairment. Some of them will carve out certain things like psychosis or dementia or other organic brain diseases, but if you're disabled due to bipolar disorder, clinical depression, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, or any other mental health impairment, your policy benefits would be limited to only two years, whereas if it was a physical condition, your back went out or something like that, you could get ongoing benefits beyond 24 months. This is almost universal in employer-sponsored group policies, those that are covered by ERISA, and the Department of Labor wanted to look at this after Vermont passed a state law requiring parity. In other words, saying if you're disabled due to mental health, you're disabled in the same way that you would be due to a physical impairment, that these insurance companies couldn't split that off. The Department of Labor has taken the Advisory Council's opinion, which is that there should be parity, that there should be legislation to address this. And the interesting thing is Sun Life, one of the larger disability carriers, has issued a letter, a press statement, saying that they fully agree. Uh, their point is that they feel that this has to be handled by legislation because if they just do it themselves, their policies would be uncompetitive based on the change in premiums. This has been a long-held issue, something I've dealt with for the entirety of my career, where we get to the 24-month mark and then we're trying to prove disability all over again based on, you know, a fallen arch or something, you know, whatever we can. So. This is hopefully going to bring big change. Uh, it will mean that premiums will increase for some employers, and that may mean that fewer employers are going to offer group policies, but it will make the ones that do a much more valuable policy, something that people can actually rely on. Uh, the reality is, even if you're physically sick, oftentimes you're depressed. When you can't move around, you can't work, you have a disease or an illness, you're going to be sad. And this has been a tool that these policies have used for years to say, well, then your disability is at least contributed to by a mental health impairment and cut people off at, after two years when it's a benefit that they were counting on for a long time. It's a step in the right direction and some good news in the ERISA field for a change.